your first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Brad Travis. Oh, the rain starting to change directions. It's going to start moving south and it's going to be on the way out of here overnight tonight. And chances are by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, most of the rain's gone, but we'll still have to get rid of the clouds. 56 right now. This is pretty much your view out your windshield here as well. Not the best driving conditions. 56 degrees right now on the parkway on our breeze camera network. Here's where the rain is now starting to drop south, and this has been showing up in the forecast guidance for a while. And the reason it's doing so is because the area low pressure that's been pushing it to the north all afternoon and beginning this morning is now finally moving away from us. So it's going to drag all this to the south and you'll clearly see that by midnight tonight. Notice temperatures really not a problem. They're not going to change much overnight tonight, but very early in the morning. Some of you will wake up in the upper 40s. So by two o'clock in the morning, still some showers and drizzle and poor visibility here along I-565 from Huntsville to Decatur down to Arab and Albertville, and that'll continue to track to the south and east. So tomorrow morning, if you're up early enough, maybe some drizzle, very light rain showers, and that's why we kept the 20% chance in uh, for this. But overall, improving weather tomorrow. It is going to get breezy though. Winds out of the north sustained around 15, but the wind gusts are what's going to get your attention, and that will be blowing the pollen around uh, as well. So we're going to start getting the pollen that we've already had issues with here earlier in the spring and late winter. That's been up in Missouri and parts of uh, Illinois. That wind is carrying that pollen from those trees into our backyard, so that's why you may start to see another flare up. If you thought you were past your early spring allergies, we may not be. Here's the upper level low here. You can kind of see it clearly on the water vapor imagery. This uh, copper color here, this is the drier air that's kind of working its way into this area. Low pressure happens with every real well defined areas of low pressure. It's happening out here. This is our next weather maker off the coast of Oregon, Washington and Northern California. This is going to be a very potent wind making storm system around here. It's likely going to produce severe weather across the plains and increase wildfire from Texas and Oklahoma with winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour out there. They won't be as bad here, but we could still see some isolated wind damage Tuesday. So that's our peak for rainfall, and that's why we have that 48 first alert weather day. I don't see an outbreak of severe weather, and that may be what you think of when you think of first alert weather day, but that's not going to be the case with this. This is a Monday night. The winds will start increasing. They'll start gusting to 30 miles an hour, and then early Tuesday morning, and this is the thing we'll still watch. This is 5 a.m. Tuesday. We're going to watch the timing of this, so keep checking back over the weekend, and we'll keep you up to date on that as we go into the afternoon hours. Latest forecast guidance now upping again, 50 to 57 mile per hour winds early Tuesday morning. So again, keep checking back on the timing and the strength of that storm system. There is some good news behind all of this. As we take a look at your 10 day forecast, we've got really nice weather and several days of drier weather behind this, taking us up to Easter weekend. How about 73 next Saturday, 75 Sunday for Easter Sunday and 76 Monday? That looks great. And this Sunday doesn't look bad either with high near 70. Yeah. Well